beach. I got it in the back of the truck. Hello, David. This got my friends to help me. Kayak. Huh? This is a great Isn't that awesome? You could just jump and do a dance on it. I know. It's you. Well, it's a flats boat, really. It's a miniature John boat, flats boat, whatever. So here's the trailer. I don't need the battery. FL. See, it's all set up, rigged. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the winch and bring it down the ramp. Yeah. Okay? So that's the trick. Hand, hand launch only, right? Hand launch. We're going to back it in the water. Load it off the, uh, the cart. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pause. Okay, okay we're on. Here we go. First launch. All right, I gotta untach it. Should have loosened it first, right? Yep. We need a bottle of champagne. Yeah. Okay. Smash it. I, know. I got it. Don't worry. How about a bottle of beer? <laughs> I need rope on the. Yeah, the ropes. There. The ropes. It's coming. It's coming. Hand launch. Right. Yep. Hand launch. Beautiful. Okay. You can pull it back up. All right. So here we are sitting in the uh, FRS 12, right? All right. Next thing we do is go a little bit deeper, lower the water motor, see if we can get that started, right? That's the next trick. It's pretty shallow here, but this is hand launch only. Is that what the beach requires, hand launch? Okay, so my weight's a problem. So I put the gas up here. Everything's got to go up there because of the motor. You can see the scuppers, they're okay now, but it was filling up with water earlier. So I don't know if I got it in the hall, I don't think I do. But anyway, and it's like uh, my friend's 19-foot um, uh, boat. You gotta lean forward to get it on a plane. Get the weight up front. See? So I'm leaning forward. I don't have trim tabs.
Okay, so here we are in a canal. It is not taking on water. I checked it. Okay, but I do have to get some one-way scuppers to prevent the water from coming in. If I'm like leaning back and everything is in the back, then water wants to come in. So I need to get the one-way scuppers and only let the water go out. So we're going to go down this little canal here, look for some snapper, and play for a few minutes. Be back. So here we are fishing. Just to show you a little example. Oh, uh, this is a wilderness, right? Mangroves. These are very, very well-to-do homes. And boats. Just a few hundred feet off the uh, beach. Isn't that the beauty? That's why we live down here, right? That's my friend, Dave. <laughs> it's awesome. Here we are, happy as can be, right? A year and a half, I started October of uh, 20. And I got the solo. So I stopped on it for about six months. And you get to the point where you can do, what, three hours a day? And then everything gets wet or painted or glued up or whatever. So then you gotta walk away from it. So, you know, when you get in a hurry, you wanna push it to the finish. And I didn't do the kind of finish work like you do on a piece of furniture, because I'm more interested in getting in the water. It's gonna get beat up in the back of the truck like you saw. And um, it's to enjoy fishing. Turns on a dime. That's fun. Auntie right here. Let's see if she comes up again. Right up in front of me, man. Right there. Snuck up on me. You can see the tail. Where'd she go? She's not going to come up again, is she? She's right there. Oh, missed it. Look at the sunlight in the water. Here she is down there. You can't see her. She's passed that, by that white boat. Oh. All right, so we're going back in. We're giving Lewis, Lewis a tow. He's, he's coming back the easy way. There's Dave up on the beach. Low tide. fun boat. It only took a little bit of time to build it. It's worth it.